Hello everybody, welcome back to Paddy Does a Worm Bro. It's episode 60. 60? 60. 60. God, I'm wasting my life. You are wasting your life. <laughs> You're not even playing. Uh, sorry we missed an episode uh, last week, uh, but we went back to work and baby stuff and it's just, we've been exhausted. So, we didn't want to record if we felt like shit and also I've had some horrible mouth ulcers and my mouth sounded like crap. If you want to hear how that sounds, uh, wait for episode 5 of Paddy Does a Worm Bro, The Dragon's Dogma Report. Because I tried to record and after 10 minutes my mouth was fuzz. It was horrible. Still yeah, not perfect. So, so uh, yeah, I'm not great. How are you, Laura? Yeah, but continuing on what you were saying. So, heads up, we may miss a few more going forward. Um, again, both working retail with the state of retail at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, we might be exhausted. Yeah. yeah. So, there may be some chalice dungeon compression, shall we say. Um, the thing I've been doing with the, with the Dragon's Dogma stuff, as these guys are getting harder... I might just do them off camera and save the bosses when we're on, because a lot of the levels are it's just a it's just a corridor. Do you know what I mean? Um, and, and unless people say don't do that, um, I'm happy to take advice. If you want to just see it all unfiltered, then fine. Um, the actual dungeons themselves aren't too bad, so I can kind of run past most of it and just get the get the lever. The lever. The lever. Um, so, but, there no, is... No, no, wait, no I'm going back to the first question you had for me. How are you? I, I'm full of Easter chocolate, uh, and I sprained my ankle, but other than that, I'm you okay. You did sprain your ankle, you oh, absolute dick. I fucked dick. it to the point that I needed to go to the local walk-in the next day, because I'm like, oh, I've got a very old lady cankle, and my other ankle is well, still ankle size. You say walk-in. I hobbled in. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, pretty fucked. Before we carry on with the story... Uh, so I know I said no side areas, yeah. but I am doing this one. Oh, you looked in your special book. I looked in my started. special book. Uh, this is one I need to go in. Okay. Um, this contains a weapon, which I need. I don't know how to get there. I just know it's down this track. Okay. There is a buttload of rats. There's it, probably shit in the water as well. Just a buttload of rats. Oh, uh -oh. they've seen you. They've seen me. Okay, they're three. They're three hits. Okay. Whoa. Three hits is fine. Um, but yeah, so I did that literally the weekend before we had to start going back to work to prep the shop. So, you know, fun times. Yeah, I mean, like I said to you at the time, if you didn't want to go back to work, you only had to say. <laughs> oh, there's more. Come back here. Well, it's not really like me to actually injure myself. Yeah, you don't injure yourself. I You're don't usually normally, very careful. Um, no, Two I'm, old fours. No, I'm not normally very careful, but I don't normally hurt myself to the point that I need to actually go to ch hospital to mm. check that I'm not dying. I'm putting the torch on so I can see what's going on. Um. Oh. Hello, mate. Um, but it's bad oh. enough oh. that I think that Violet's been copying me. Because I've been yeah. walking around the house and I can't work out if it's because Nanny taught her to stomp the other day and she still only really knows how to do it on one leg. Or if she's been copying Mummy because it's the same leg. So she kind of puts one leg out and kind of stomps down the corridor. It was like this very it's good. Like, oh, don't copy. There's loads of other things I do that you could copy. Don't copy that. Yeah, very, very funny. Fear Hunter. I'm going to go up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got that kind of like one leg kind of stomping down. Yeah, like it's quite goose step -y. It's goose. It's very goose step. It's like, there's um, something you need to tell us, Violet. Okay, view spectre. What does it say? But on, on the latest Violet update, she is doing lots more words now. Oh, yeah. Tebudi. <laughs> she's doing... Um, what is that? Oh, it's a dog. Lots of animal sounds and... Uh, she's done a couple of colours and a bit more counting. I um, went ahead, Laura. I think this is what I need. She's learnt how to climb onto the coffee table unaided and stand up. Yeah, that's a thing, and isn't the it? Sofa to get all the remotes and the bed in the bedroom. So, yay! Right, I think I'm where I need to be. I'm going to walk very carefully. Oh, it's one of these lightning rooms. Yeah. There's a lot of the thingy blokes sticking around the the the, the trap uh, arrow. The ones statues. in here tend to be fairly benign. 
sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that's just one. Okay, fine. All right. I think he saw you. I thought I'd gotten away with that, and I hadn't. No, no, uh, you didn't. Whoops. Um, but no, Violet's been a lot more, like, friendly, I think, um, she since we last recorded. She literally chat away mm. for ages. Well, even that, I mean, we've seen uh, our friend Michaela with her baby. Mm. Uh, I've actually been able to do a, a, a thing with my parents now. Uh, in the evening. Lots of socially distanced play dates. Yeah, in the garden. We saw our friend Ian today and the kids played in the garden and they just actually played. Yeah, she wasn't was just, just like pushing other people over and snatching just things. nice. Right, I'm just going to run past all these traps. I think I can just... Later. Later. Um, don't forget about the, the spoogey mess in here. The spoogeman. Yes. And the guy on the left. Oh, he's still further back. He doesn't care. That's um, fine. Okay, so I've only got to fight one enemy. That's so yeah, okay. So that, again, that's been nice, but well, again, we are kind of mentally, because we're literally heading back. Tomorrow is mm. D-Day for the store's reopening. So it's either going to be dead or super busy. Um, oh, shit. Oh, come on! Oh! And, yeah, so... Forgot about that. <sighs> I just want to get that coffin open. I've just got to get in that coffin. Everything else can wait till off camera. I just need that coffin. So I want to get this on camera. Yeah. So I think, because, so, spoilers, uh, I may get a trophy. Oh, okay. Um, finally. And that's five the last year, one is... Five years. No, it's not the last one. Oh. Uh, the last, no, wrong way. The last trophy I need to get, Laura, is the, in the base game, is kill the lady at the end of the chalice dungeons. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm still a so way off that, one. but this is the weapons one. Oh, okay. Um, while I was divving around, picking out dungeons. Yeah. Because when you search by Chalice Dungeon, you can just pick one and go in there. I found a Burial Blade. I lost the Burial Blade, which is German's weapon. Yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting to. I just was just picking them at random. And I yeah. thought you could only pick them up once you had the regular version. And I was like, oh, I have this now. So this might be... This might be a trophy. Point. And then if it doesn't ping, you're going to be very upset. No, not necessarily. It just means I have to buy the real one, which I was planning to do anyway. Like, the plan was going to be beat the game, and then the first thing I do is... Log back in and... Yeah, log back in. Right, come on then, mate. Let's try this again. Right. Do you let He's taking a lot of... Run, no, run, no! Run, run, run. Oh! oh, fine, I'm fine. Paddy, how did you not I'm see paying... that coming? Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's in... He's in doggo mode. This might be fine. Don't even. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Right. Ready for this? What's the Zelda music? I don't know. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, Laura. That. Oh, how have I never got that? I suppose if I've never been in here, you've never ever you, picked you this up. You didn't really do the chalices, and there's a lot of stuff you it's... just don't really look for unless you're trying to get everything. Yeah, like this is a like, side you, content You get zone. kind of to a point that you're like, I don't need that, I've got a good weapon, I'll just do yeah. with this. The thing is, the way the, the weapon specking works, you find something you like. I mean, the first time I ran through this game, I used the threaded cane for the yeah. entire game because I liked it, and I was picking up other weapons that might have been good, but like my stats weren't great for them. I was like, well, I might as well just stick using this. Stick to what you had. It's a good weapon. Oh, I've got to get out of this now, haven't I? Yes. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, look, there's a mate. Okay, I've got to run past Goo Boy. Goo Boy! Right, Goo Boy avoided. And then back past all the... Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh! But yeah, but. Oh, this is fine. In oh, between this is looking fine. after baby and getting work prepped, we have made a bit of a mistake with our lives. Oh, blame it on Ellie and Pete. So, we've been trying to meet up, play some games with Ellie and Pete for a while because we used to play games all the time together and it's been too long. We used to do D&D together. Lovely mm -hmm. Ellie and lovely Pete. Uh, Ellie, uh, Ellie on Panic. Uh, nah, let's try it again. Uh, Ellie, who streams on Twitch and is amazing and is going to have a partner, so you should go follow her and watch it. Um, uh, she is Ellie Joy Panic uh, on the old uh, Twitch box. Uh, and Pete, who's at Tatsun on Twitter, also runs the One Bro Death Counter. So these are good people. These are quality humans that we're talking about right now. Um, and we've been trying to meet up to play games for ages. And we... Oh, that's where the boss is, isn't it? Well, fuck. Um, 
Yeah, between two sets of kids and a entirely different continent, it's been a bit... It's been hard, but we finally managed it till the day. Um, and the game we picked, because everyone had it, sod off. <laughs> okay, don't jump down. Uh, um, the game we did was Minecraft. Yes. Uh, and Pizza and I played, and Ellie was a secret Minecraft expert, even though she died before the first day <gasps> from drowning, which apparently doesn't count as it's drowning. What? Yeah, I know. I gave her some stick, and she Ellie tried to... Ellie says a lot of things don't count in games. I think Ellie's not the bastion of rules that she believes herself to be. Doesn't count if you drown, I swear to God. That's, that's real life as well. If you drown, it doesn't count. Um... But yeah, and so I, I watched them do a little bit of it. Um, and then because they were doing Minecraft, and I kind of maxed out on builders for a bit. There's still stuff I haven't finished building and things, but I've gotten to the point that I've been putting so many hours into it You're that it's a bit... poggling around now, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so it's like, ooh, Minecraft. And then after a few days, we were both like, should we? Should we? we just looked at each other like, do you, do you want to? Yeah. Because I feel like I want to. Beware of sneak attack, beware of ambush. Oh, hello. Naughty boys. It's like kind of both managing to kind of get off like drinking. And then you're like, oh, come on, it's Christmas. We just, just have the one drink. It's fine, it's fine. And then we've done it for a couple of nights in a row and it's like, ah, oh, shit. We're back in. Um, just I've when I thought I was out, they dragged me back. You've already started a mine system. And I've already started a farm. Yeah, after saying that I was going to be the, the, the builder and you were going to be the explorer this time, we've already settled back into our usual roads. Yes. Although I did build the house. Yes. And it's a very pretty house. It has, it's a nice house. It has stone bricks at the bottom. It, what is that? Just a guy. I don't know, he's facing the other way. It's just a guy. Uh, should we do that floor or should we go up the top first? It's up to you. Should we go up the top first? Just, from, just for the sake of difference. Um... Is there any notes that tell me what's coming? No. I do love a nice helpful note on the floor. Especially now I'm in Uncharted. Hello. Uncharted territory. Oh wait, is this just link up to the same area? Hey, I think it just links up to the same bit. Okay. Maybe. View, no view notes. Turn back. <laughs> Does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, uh, oh, is it a, because there's nothing here? Potentially. Well, ah! <laughs> Okay, I need to find the lady that's making these right now. I need to find your spider simp. Um, spider simps. But yeah, so we spider started simps. back on, because to be fair, the last time we were kind of like into Minecraft was... Probably, it was definitely pre a lot of the, the packs they've got at the moment. So oh my god, It was pre llamas so... and ocean biomes and... There is so much stuff that we don't know how it works. The last big update we were part there to partake in was like villagers. Is that the lever? And being able to... Oh no, I think fireworks was the last thing that had come out the last time we played. Fireworks, yeah. And we're like, cool, fireworks. Never played with them, but you're like... Ow! What the fuck was that? Right in the corner, chucking shit. Oh! Um. I what is that? I don't know what that is. I might just bolt for the lever. Okay. Fuck it, I'm bolting for the lever. You can't stop me. Um. Lever, lever. Right, good. I can die now. I can work out what that is. Who are you? Are you a beast? He's got bolts and shit. I'm dead now, but that. What is that? A horned cloak person. I've never seen that before. Well, it's because you're getting deeper into the, the, the shitholes. Balls deep in Chalice Dungeon Town. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to keep... So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to dig into the side stuff now. I've hit the lever. Mm -hmm. I'll pick all the items off off camera. Yeah. Ain't that's no fine, day, ain't no fine, thing. Uh, and hey. As long as you let Pete know Laura, what you've been doing in between. There, there were no deaths the last time I did this. <gasps> There were no deaths. Because uh, you open. didn't do anything. No, I did. I cleared out a couple of side areas and I did it perfectly. <gasps> I, I got all the way in and then I used a bold hunter's mark to get out. So I didn't have to fight um, things. So that's a side area. Not going to bother. 
But yeah, so we're back playing Minecraft. To be yeah. fair, it's kind of nice just having something. Yeah, like, poison. You can just Remember okay, the medicine. You toddle around with. There's no kind of like, like obviously with your stuff. There's all like bosses and all kinds of shit. It's like no, oh. it's just. Um, and again, because there is some new stuff. It is still kind of interesting. I'd probably say the worst thing is because I've played so many hours on builders, I cannot get the controls right. And we're playing on like PS4. Oh, it's so funny. I keep going into like the chat menu. Oh, it's really and good I though, keep, isn't it? Like pressing like the the D pad because that's what it is in builders, and it is not that on it's Minecraft. It's Susan. Um, so it's really really annoying. You know, I keep toggling to like third person uh, all the time so I might have to remap my controls wow it really is true if you go left Susie can not hit you like I said a lot of these bloodborne guys just I'm just seem walking to, I'm just I know, walking I know but they seem to have like what you expect if you just go the opposite way it seems to just mess with their kind of hmm Collision holes and things. Why, whenever we get to a new one and you struggle, I'm like, just go the other way. Should have put the fire back on, really. This could be. Oh, this is second one. Oh, we're phasing. Hang on, I think we're phasing. Okay. Punji. Oh, shit, I should have fire back. Uh oh. Punji. Three, four, five. Move out the way. Punji. Well, no, it's, it's, again, it's such obviously it's, no, it's design effect, but it's such an odd thing to design that she's got Five. The, the skin flapping everywhere. I mean, it's a, it's, again, when, when you first see it, again when the first game first came out, I don't think I'd seen anything with that kind of tech. If you know what I mean. Bungie. Um, mixed in with the hair and stuff as well. Um. You know, you saw odd bits in odd games, again, as hair, or occasional flappy coats, but having them on basically, Bungie. like, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. every Bungie. monster was just like, oh, this is cool. Uh-oh! So I think it's such a shame that, like, um, Dark Souls 3 just basically took the entire oh! engine Fuck. and just, like, Hey, this is Dark Souls 3 now. You're like, no, this is Bloodborne. But with more, like, armor sets. Can I just say, that went well. Oh, well, that's fine. For a first fucking go. Have, that you, went have really you got well. enough of that shit to do another run like I've got that? Loads. Okay, then that's Laura, fine then. I've been to the gun dungeon. <laughs> Let's just do that closer. Hang on. I've been to the gun dungeon. No, you've got to say that properly. Daddy's been to the gun Daddy's been to the cum dungeon. Mm, <laughs> that's going to be audio poison. <laughs> Are you eating an egg? I'm eating more eating chocolate. Eating a, you eating an egg? I'm eating to eat your chocolate. She's eating an egg. Um, I'm going to head back to the dream to pick up more punjies. Because they will make it... Like, it doesn't attack you when you get your punjies on. No. Uh, and I think if I... Uh, if I put better poison resistance stuff on... Slow mm -hmm. poison resistance is what we want. 59. It's pretty good. Uh, da, 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 da. And maybe oh, if you actually remember to paper before you go in and share. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> 32. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, 36. Pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It wasn't that. I, was, uh, I think the hat's pretty good. So, do you agree or disagree with what I was just talking about? Oh, I wasn't really listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you were talking about. Uh, Dark Souls 3 being not a good video game. No, I was saying that they oh, basically well, nicked the entire um, Bloodborne engine. Mm. Um, because, like, before Bloodborne, you know, like the tech that they've got on the monsters and stuff with the lots of hair and, like, Susie with all the skin and everything. You hadn't really seen... Well, I, oh. I hadn't really seen anywhere else. Yeah, it was static meshes and, like, there were a little bit of flowy capes, maybe. On that, that's what not, I said. A few odd capes and an odd bit of actual, like, not human hair, fresh. but not, like, everywhere. Like, they had it on all the mm. monsters. And then, obviously, you go to, like, Dark Souls 3, and they've just taken the entire engine over. 
Mm. Which is why a lot of the time when I see videos of Dark Souls 3, I'm like, I'm like, this is Bloodborne, right? And you're like, no, it's Dark Souls 3. Look. The only way you can tell is by... Because <laughs> he's actually, got a shield. Yeah, by looking <laughs> at the guy and he's wearing actual armour yeah. instead of, you know, coats. Or he's fully nude. Oh, I don't like you can see the Susie just hanging out. <laughs> uh, just wait. Paper, paper. Right, hang on. So, I think I'm, that's not what I want on. I want a beast blood pellet. I've got loads of them now. I can... Yeah. I think if I beast blood this, mm. it'd be even better. Go on then. So, beast, beast fire paper, fire, and then the punjis are, punjis are for, are for phase two. Yeah. So, uh... Fire paper is the one that needs to go on set first. Why did it pocket me? Okay, it's fine. Come on. I really want to be doing those, uh, those L1s. Again, it's... Oh, I did some something the other day and they had the NCs like early PS2 Bollocks. stuff there. That was terrible. And you look at it now and you're like, oh, I remember being really impressed by this. And then you look at it mm. like now and you're like... This is fuck so, ugly. Yeah, mm. it's really like a lot of the like tech and cut scenes when the tech and cut like games first come out. You're like, this is so cool. Like now, look like plasticine tech, men. Tech and tag. Mm. Like when you saw it, oh, this is this is next. This is amazing. At the time, it fucking was though. It was. Yeah. And then you look at it now, you're like, mm. I think it's, it's, it speaks to the discussion about like art design versus graphical quality because like a good looking game will always look good. Like Age Odyssey will always look good. Rayman will always look mm. good. Tekken uh, 2 has the problems. The cut, the, 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 the cut scenes anyway, like that sort of early... I, I, yeah, I think... Oh, well, I fuck this Yeah, up. I think if you, you haven't given enough thought to like your world and making it look like a world, then yeah, things will age a lot. Uh-oh. 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 Um... I want to do two. But again, it's this kind of... Susan. Uh, you've been playing quite a lot of kind of point and click games. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, And yeah, a yeah. lot of them, I think... We spoke about that a lot on the last one, actually. If the, the voice acting hadn't been... Like, some of the voice acting is terrible. And you could have gotten over the kind of some of the game, gameplay mm. if it's been more interesting. Yeah. So you've got to have at least something that's done really well to sometimes oh negate some of the other bits that aren't as good. Oh, this is this is not a good run so far. I was so silky on my first run and I can't do it now. Oh, we're not going to have another one like the last Big Beast you fought where you're like really good and then you just spend an entire episode just mm -hmm. fucking it up. Probably. Oh. Probably. Oh, I wanted to play Minecraft. I don't want to do this. We could play Minecraft. I mean, we're only going to record for an hour. I don't want to watch you do this. Thing, hey, everyone, we're doing two episodes today. Can you tell? <laughs> uh oh. All right, phase two. Phase two. Fuck. Fungies. Fungies. Oh, God. No. Please. 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 Let me get my fungies. Fungie. That way. Now run away. I was going to say, that's oh, shit, quite this close one, to you, isn't it? This is one I want to do with these guys. Fungie. Susan! Have you not just because you did it too quickly, did you knock her out? I'm gonna punch you right in the corner. And then I don't wanna do that. I mean that's a nice bit of damage. Yep. Susan! What the fuck? I think she got bored of she... standing in a corridor. But I she was she was punjied. I think you were doing them too quickly. Like, you've got to have... They're like 10 seconds, I think you've got. No, it's got to be longer than that, I swear. Uh, yeah, it... I think you were tracking them too quick. 10 seconds feels right. I think you were overloading her. 
Well, round two, three, four. How many rounds are we on? I should really gone up and I've only got six. Ah, it's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. This is fine. This is fine, though. Are you listening for the baby? Yeah, she's just a bit okay. of a squiddy. New, new plan. Don't bother with the consumables until phase two. Okay. Doesn't seem worth it. So I can do this pretty well now. Heal up. Susan! Come on, Susan! Wow, just moving left really is just. And I'm tempted to do it on phase two as well, but she does have poison when she attacks the phase. She's a lot more aggressive in phase two. Mm. Like being near her. Uh oh. No, I want her uh -oh. away. From, I don't. I want. I want her away from the wall. Away from the wall. The wall is the problem. I think the small zone is the problem. Here. Susan. Oh, I felt like I needed to dodge that one. I didn't trust it. That's well, it's, it's better that you're more careful than not careful at all. Mm. I think she's going to phase two any second now. This will be it. This will be it. Fire paper now. Susan. Again, I'm just sort of hovering left a bit. Yeah. Trying to give myself stamina as I get. I know I'm not talking much, but I'm trying to. I'm trying it's really fun. hard. I mean, I was just looking at it and thinking. Susan. It would be cool to have some like bloodborne action figures. Like actual, like articulated. A little bit. No, kind of like probably a smaller version, but kind of like the. Materials we've got on our is it the play arts from kind of fancy ones we've got. We've got like a Sephiroth and a oh, they are good, yeah. And they've got that kind of slightly plasticky, leathery kind of co coats on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that would be cool for like a Bloodborne coat, and then just like a, a um, maybe like a, a the beasts, and you can have like. Uh oh. When you get those kind of figures that have got metal down the inside but slightly squidgy bits on the outside. Right, fire paper. Okay, here we go. And you can just Susie, kind of please, just move. Like that. You know, with a little bit of wall in the background. And get away. Yeah. Sorry, I'm. Yeah, yeah. With the comedy wall piece. Right, yeah. here's where we get problems. Here's where I need to get me out of that. that. Well, you got me for Christmas, you got me a haiku oh. figure. Ah! Um, oh. Right, now and being near it Susan. It comes with its own little net, um, which immediately fall over and broke. Um, and a little bit of, um, like, volleyball court. Um, and, like, obviously the usual kind of, like, a billion different hands and facial expressions and stuff. Um, but I've seen a picture that someone's got a whole load of, like, quite a lot of the figures. Oh, no. No, 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 battery. Please, sir. One of the kind of, like, opposite team guys that's like really strong yeah um, like and him facing off and like all the like the the, the the good guy team kind of sat there as like fuck off um, oh. like ready to receive this ball it's like they look so cute probably cost like several hundred dollars to mm. do. sorry for the loud fuck off there um i didn't know the last attack was gonna be a, a, a poison burst that's and fine. a corner trapped that's fine ah. <sighs> I'll go back to my mummy drink, it's fine. One more. Yeah. One more. One more. One more. What have I got on me? Yeah, you got one more of this episode. I've got three fire papers, that's enough. I don't Is need it? them to the end. I don't need them to the end anyway. Is it? I think so. Cool. And I'm not gonna beast blood because I just getting those like those in. Mm. I just don't know if I've got enough time. And the the corner trap, while effective, requires timing. Or even better than having a little bit of plastic wall, you have the, the backgrounds where you were meant to cut it out of the cardboard box that the figure came ha, in. Ha, yeah. <laughs> I mean, give it the chance. Like, Every beast comes with three spare claws. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get all the sets, you're able to build this big beast. An amygdala. Something like it that. Would be, yeah, it would be an amygdala. There'd be a Father Gascoigne. 
And then you'd have to send off tokens to get like a, like a church tower sent to you so you could put the amygdala all over it. Yeah. Okay then. All right. All right. All right. Right. Todd McFarlane <laughs> gets the Bloodborne license or whoever. Right. Yeah. Right. They release, let's say, six figures. Six. And they can be humanoids or they can be smaller beasts. Yeah. And there's one collect all the pieces. Yeah. What's what? Who are they? Okay, you've definitely got to have Lady Maria sat in her chair. Mm hmm. As like her chair is like a part of her figure yeah. set. I think default hunter has to be in there. Yes. The one from the box. Unfortunately, yes. it is a case of life that the you guy need from the, the box. The one in the box has to be part of it. Um. um you got Maria and the guy in the box. Okay. I think Father Gascoigne. I think Father yeah. Gascoigne is on lock. Um, and then you have to have a few bad guys? Gascoigne is a bad guy. Oh, you're going to have to have the doll. Yep, yeah, so that's four. You have to have the doll. So you need at least a couple of bad guys. You want at least a beast. Would it be a standard enemy, do you reckon? Or do you reckon you have, like, a, a blood-starved beast? I, I reckon... Like, you... this would be a good choice. Or maybe Legarius or something? No, I reckon the... the, the what's the first one? On the bridge. The cleric beast. Yes. That's a bit big though, isn't it? Yeah, but like as as like a the big set, if you know what I mean. Mm. Then you've got two smaller ones. Oh, okay. So the cleric beast is the large one. See, I I, I would go amygdala every time. I think the amygdala is the one. Oh, the Laura, is... Laura. I know who's number five. What? Mikolash. It's cage head. You know, a Mikolash. Mm -hmm. I, I think. Fuck. The the, the, the the problem with the alien things is I think having the the beast would be a lot cooler on a shelf. Right, look, because that's a humanoid character. I know we've gone DLC heavy here, but well, yeah. The, okay, no, the no DLC. DLC would end up as like series two, series three. Okay, no DLC then. No DLC. So Maria's gone. No cos. Oh. Maria's gone. So we've got the basic hunter. Oh. We've got we've got the doll. Yeah. Uh, we've got Father Gascoigne. Yeah. And we've got Mikolash. I think Mikolash is a fucking lock. Who else? Um, You've got two left. Two other figures. I think you need let's to say, I'll tell you what, guys. let's actually say humanoids. Humanoids. So I don't know how they make this sort of character. I work. mean, part of me thinks that having one of the little wheelchair machine gun guys would be kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Or a brick troll. Yeah. Um, uh oh. Don't want to be here. Don't want to be there. Right. I, I want Susie. Has Susie even gone phase two yet? I don't know. Must have. There we go. Are we straight to phase three? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think you'd want... Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody that would be cool out of like the people you save to have a big of as well. Oh, like the people that you could yeah. potentially find. Oh, how about a Patches the Spider? I was thinking Patches, maybe. I was thinking, like, some of them could have odd little items, so maybe you have, Susan! Like, like a, um, a little music box or something somewhere along the line, or... Oh, that would be cool. Uh, the Wet Nurse. Ooh. Wet Nurse would be pretty cool. Wet Nurse would totally come with a bit of brick to stand on. T wet nurse would come with a, one of those little, like you say, the little half wall. Ha, ha, a little, little bit of wall. No, wet nurse would have a baby chariot. Oh yeah, but different chariot. It's, and it's so many. A pram. And it would. Uh, it's would called be... a pram, Paddy. You have one in the house. Shush. And it would have a lot of like, like the, in the thing, would, all the arms would be separate, like yes. underneath, in yeah, the plastic you, bit pump, underneath. Pump, pump yeah, you have to tackle the arms, and one wouldn't fit right. Yeah. <laughs> There'll always be one that slightly falls down. Hi, this is Paddy and Laura. Get angry about figures that turn up broken. <laughs> Fuck me. So is that yeah, our the, six? Is that our six? Who have we got? Cool. We've got Hunter. Yeah. Doll. Yeah. Uh, Mikolash. I don't like Mikolash. I think Mikolash is a bit pretty meh. But Mikolash, but he's got tentacles coming out of his hand. Yeah. Okay, so we can't finish the episode until we've got all this six marked okay. down. Okay. So uh, we've got uh, Basic Hunter. Yeah. Uh, we've got Doll. Right. No DLC, remember. We've got G uh, Gascoigne. Yeah. Gascoigne has to be in there. A basic regular enemy? I think you need one of the enemies you get when you go into like the villages and they spew um, snakes out of their head. A snake fo forest man? A snake forest man? Yeah. Yeah. So that would go, so you got like a. Oh, a, werewolf. 
werewolf. The first werewolf enemy that you Maybe. see. The first big werewolf. One of them, I think. That, that, I think that fits the scale. And who's number six? Number six? Mmm. Because it's set of six, remember? They always oh, come in sets of six. We said the wet nurse, didn't we? It's too big. Humanoid. Wet nurse is enormous. Yeah, but you could have a big one out of the set. Wet nurse would be the special. And okay. that comes with the head of the cleric I beast. Still think, I still think cleric beast would be or it comes a with the, special. The wet nurse comes with the big arm. Because the cleric beast has got a massive arm. Um, there you go. There's our. There's our. And we'll or, do. I, or I tell you what. Cause, <laughs> again, because we're these kind of people, it would be a, a figure that would totally not stand up ever properly. Yeah. Um, you need one of the the ladies from like the hospital and stuff with the bags on their heads. Oh, uh, that's DLC, Laurie. That's season two. Oh, oh season I don't two. know anything about this. Oh, game. what about Bagman? Bagman. A Bagman. Oh yeah, I suppose. A Bagman. So we lose the last one. I've already forgotten what it was. That's the how good it was. Man? No, Snake Man's good. Okay. Snake Man good. Bag Man good. Right. Basic Hunter. Yeah. Doll. Father Gascoigne. And it was going to be a wheelchair guy. And a wheelchair guy. Wait, we've we've erased someone there. That's good enough. Anyway. So on the next episode, we're going to do... tell us what you think. Yeah, on the next episode, we're going to work out what season two is. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for watching. Paddy did a one, bro. And chose the wrong menu again. I've got a boss down in one episode. High five again. Oh. Yeah, bitch. Oh, you should have a rom that lights up on from the inside. With eyes. Eye shaped lights on the inside. Right, we can't. <gasps> we because can't we've got think it. about this Laura, too much. we have to end the episode. Bye, everybody! Bye, bye, bye. bye.